night, guys. I'm Bree Chaka. And I'm Nathan Weglander. It's the first episode of 2013. One, three. Let's get to those stories. What I hate? Exercise. But I'd make an exception. Chloe and Miranda went to go find out more about Relay for Life. Psst. Word on the street, there's this thing going on called Relay for Life. It's this thing where people get together and they raise money and awareness for cancer. Relay for Life is a great way to go and show your support for those who are suffering with cancer or who have previously suffered from cancer. We asked another organizers to see what this whole Relay for Life thing is about. We started it because, first off, we wanted to reunite Simley because we feel like we need to be closer to the school. And we also know that a lot of people are impacted by cancer and wanted to help fundraise. Right now, we're at about 13 teams and our goal is 45 teams. So we need a lot of people to sign up and it's really easy. You don't actually have to do that much and it's not running. So if you guys are interested or have already signed up to be part of a relay team, make sure you come to the mandatory relay rally January 23rd for a lot of information and also some fundraising ideas and other ways you can get involved. If you would like to learn more information about Relay for Your Life, feel free to go to their website or you can download the app directly to your phone or your tablet. Hi, I'm Miranda Hoffison and I'm Chloe Shaw reporting for the Spartan Spotlight. Thanks guys, I'll have to check it out next year. <laughs> have you heard all the ruckus in the gym lately? It's the boys basketball team. Dylan, Henry, and Annie went to go check it out. There's a lot of young talent on the Sydney basketball team this year. We went to talk to a few of the players to see just how young the talent really is. We have a lot of young talent on the team. Ben Sheffley, Sam Stensgaard, Jack Stensgaard, uh, Al Alex Fenske, he's, he's going to play next year and he's, he's got some talent. Underclassmen Ben Sheffley, Jack Stensgaard, and Sam Stensgaard are averaging nearly 30 points a game. Senior captain Zach Gullerud is averaging a triple-double every game. Well, we're having an okay season this year. we got the best captain in the state, Zach Gullerud. He also has the best hair. We also have Mark Delvadova. He's an okay dude. He's kind of tall. Some Simley freshmen have a harder transition into the program than others do. I would make you do the stuff that they don't want to, like carry bags around, pick balls up, and make fun of you, I guess. Come support the Simley Boys basketball team tonight at 7 o'clock in Concordia. This has been Henry Hart. And Dylan White reporting for Spartan Spotlight. Ooh! Oh, that's done? Yeah. Thanks, guys. Make sure to go check out some games. Big controversy right now in the U.S. My guns. Everybody's guns. Michaela went to go check out gun control. Due to recent tragedies at Sandy Hook Elementary, questions have been raised about the issue of gun control in the U.S. There have been 90 school shootings and 231 deaths recorded since 1966. In response to this, some people think teachers should be armed to help protect them and the students. I went and asked Simley students their opinions on the issue. I think teachers with guns is a good idea because it would be a good way to protect all the students, but only if all the teachers were qualified. Being a hunter, I'm in favor of guns, but I don't think there's any reason for people to buy assault rifles or handguns unless you're a cop. I think that there should be more strict restrictions on gun laws. To ensure safety, we have student research officer, officer Prail, and we run periodic drills. There should be less high-powered weapons in the world. You know, just keep your regular ones for hunting. While a few dozen children are killed each year in school, statistically speaking, it remains the safest place a child will like ever be with the lowest chance of being killed. Uh, whether I would support arming uh, teachers in schools and the answer that I would have to come back with is absolutely not for administrators with weapons in school. That just doesn't make any sense at all to me. And I don't think it's something that uh, that we should be doing in public schools. No. Thanks McKay K. And now more stuff from other people. One of the letters for Simley Pride stands for? P stands for personal responsibility. I is for R is for respect. I integrity. E determination. E is excellence. We have Simley Pride, yes we do. We have Simley Pride, how about you?
help somebody who is struggling and they're my lab partner. It's with great honor that I pass this trophy to Mr. Severson. We want to let everyone at Simley High School know how proud we are of Mr. Severson and the job that he does, especially in his way that he connects with his students. Round of applause. That's all for this week, guys. I'm Nathan Weidleitner. And I'm Bree Chaka. Make sure to go to Spartan Spotlight to check out our web exclusives and our bloopers. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. See ya.